Summit. My name is Reed Alvarado, Communications Coordinator at Sunline Transit Agency. And today is Transit Tuesday. Thank you for joining us. We're happy to be back this week to share some exciting news about a service that's been getting a lot of buzz here in the Coachella Valley and actually Southern California over the last few days. And that is the brand new 10 commuter link. Uh, this presentation will be in English, but my colleague Carmen uh, will follow up with the same presentation in Spanish. Carmen, can you please say hello? Hello, my name is Carmen. I'm an interim clerk of the board at Sunline, and I'll be, as Reed said, doing the presentation in Spanish. Perfect. And Carmen, if I could please ask you to do that same introduction once more in Spanish and just let our Spanish viewers know that this presentation uh, will be followed by the Spanish presentation. Uh, hola, me llamo Carmen. Soy interim clerk of the board in Sunline Transit Agency. Y, um, Hoy estamos felices de estar de regreso esta semana para compartir algunos uh, detalles y yo voy a estar haciendo la presentación en español y mi compañero Reed en inglés. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, all right. So we are going to get started today um, with a special thank you to our two first riders. Uh, yesterday, Sunline Transit staff was at our Indio a Sunline facility, which happens to be the first stop for the 10 commuter link. And we were more than excited to welcome our first riders onto uh, this brand new regional service. Uh, you can see Kayla on the left. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, you'll see some more information about her. She is a CSUSB student who uh, was excited to have a new option to get to class. And uh, on our second service, our first rider uh, who saw our our broadcast um, in the news and decided why not take route one to the 10 commuter link and hop on for his trip that he'd already planned to San Bernardino. Uh, so we're excited to see all the anticipation for this service and we want to get in a little bit more today to what that service is and where it can take you with some amazing connections to transit agencies throughout Southern California. All right, first off, if you have not seen uh, the news yesterday, if you have not been on our Twitter, Instagram, or what have you, or been aware of some of the changes with Sunline Refueled, uh, let's do a brief overview of where the 10 commuter link goes. Uh, so this is a five stop regional service connecting the Coachella Valley to the Inland Empire, and then onward from our amazing uh, transit agency friends at Metrolink, um, but we have <clears throat> stops in Indio, CSUSB Palm Desert Campus, Beaumont, CSUSB San Bernardino. Those are some amazing partners of us that we're excited to talk about today. And uh, the San Bernardino Transit Center. Now we'll go a little bit more into where those stops are and what connections you can make from them. Uh, but you've probably inferred this already. When can you ride? Today. Service started yesterday, uh, bright and early in Indio. Um, and you can take this Monday through Friday service uh, with our four daily round trips. One of the biggest things we heard in feedback about our refueled survey and all the refueled changes was an increase in our regional service frequency. And that is why we're excited to say that this commuter link has four round trips daily. All right, now you can see a sneak peek of what the interior of these buses look like in our background. And we're pretty excited about how comfortable uh, these Wi-Fi enabled buses are. Thank you, Dan Wetzel. If you asked that question earlier, all of our buses are Wi-Fi enabled. Um, the SUSB oh. student, sorry, my own broadcast was playing in the background. Um, this is a uh, view of our um, service map. It highlights those stops that I mentioned in the last slide, you can see um, one, starting with Indio, it largely uh, follows the 10, I-10 freeway, um, going up to uh, San Bernardino, and finally in the Metrolink uh, connection and Omnitrans connection at San Bernardino Transit Center. Uh, this is a great map because it provides detailed looks at where the individual stops are. Uh, this map is available on sunline.org forward slash 10 commuter. Um, and available in our writer's guide. So if you watch this presentation and th there's a lot of information and you wanna know particularly where that stop is, feel free to check those resources. 
All right. Now, the most important thing <clears throat> is our schedule. As we mentioned yesterday, we were at our Indio stop, which is at Highway 111 at Golf Center Parkway, um, to wish off our first riders at 5.20 and 7.20 in the morning. Um, but we're excited to say that this route will also offer uh, two afternoon trips, which is different if you are familiar with our commuter route uh, 220 in the past. So originating from the west, we have two early morning trips, uh, like I said, at 5.20 a.m. and the other at 7.50. And these will be reaching San Bernardino Transit Center at 7.35 and 10.05 a.m. respectively. Uh, the benefit of the uh, service means that the first afternoon trip will depart from Indio at 12.50 p.m. and the second at 2.50 p.m. Um, for, uh, for the first time, this is offering those four round trips. Now, for trips originating from the east, there are two morning trips departing from San Bernardino Transit Center. Uh, the first departs from 8.45 a.m. and the other from 11.45 a.m. These reach Indio at 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. respectively. And we can also say uh, that this first afternoon trip uh, on the, uh, the first afternoon trip departing from San Bernardino Transit Center leaves at 3.45 p.m., getting in at 6 p.m. And the final from San Bernardino Transit Center leaves at 5.45 p.m. and gets in at 8 p.m. to Indio. Now there's two important stops along the way that we want to make sure our students uh, that have already started riding um, at CSUSD, whether they're at San Bernardino or um, uh, Palm Desert Campus know, they can use their Coyote card and we'll get into fares in a little bit. All right, so our first stop going from east to west is in Indio. This is at the Sunline facility, um, 83255 along Highway 111 in Indio. Um, this is a uh, great way for those in the Eastern Coachella Valley to access that regional service um, out of the Coachella Valley. It currently serves Route 1. You can see there is not a long walk to the transfer. Um, this picture was actually from yesterday where we watched a rider get off Route 1 um, right before our 750 bus and walk about uh, 20 steps and hop on the 10 commuter link. Um, also exciting news, beginning September 7th, we will be launching the Route 1X. Um, this September 7th, yes. Uh, this is a, a cross valley service with also a handful of stops uh, going from Palm Springs to Indio. Uh, we'll have more info for about that in a couple of weeks, but just know that we will be adding that connection in September. The second stop is at uh, CSUSB Palm Desert Campus. Now, this is a fantastic way for those who are in the west and mid portions of the valley to access this important and uh, reliable service. Um, it is at 37500 Cook Street, Palm Desert, uh, California, and it is on the campus of uh, CSUSB. Now, an important thing to note is we are currently at level three service for our uh, local fixed route system. And that means our current Monday through Friday uh, peak travel bus um, route five is not operational. Um, that being said, there is uh, a easy way using Sunline Transit to access the 10, 10 commuter link, and that is our micro transit service, Sunride. Sunride is an exciting new service we launched back in January. Uh, that anyone can take uh, using the Transloc app. Um, if you are unfamiliar with Sunride or you're unfamiliar uh, with microtransit in general, we definitely invite you to book a travel training at calendly.com forward slash refueled. Uh, these travel trainings are on a case-by-case -case Monday through Friday basis, and they are designed to make sure that you understand every single Sunline service available to you and we'd be happy to walk you through how to make that connection. Now, our first stop outside of the Coachella Valley is in Beaumont. Um, this mid-route destination is a perfect way to transfer to RTA's Route 31. That's a service that goes between um, <clears throat> Merino Valley and Hemet. 
Uh, there are also connections uh, to past transit routes one, five, and six. Um, an important thing to note is uh, we received a social media question a few days ago about a connection to Morongo Casino. Um, you can catch a Morongo Casino connection through pass transit. Uh, that stop is located right outside of the Walmart in Beaumont and directly across the street from a brand new in and out So if you're feeling hungry, that is a great place to stop when you get off in Beaumont. Uh, next up, particularly for those CSUSB students that are coming from the Palm Desert campus, this is a great way to travel between campuses. Um, at, on University Parkway in San Bernardino, you can get off at the CSUSB main campus. Uh, there are several local connections in their bus terminal at, uh, um, uh, via Omnitrans, and there's a connection to the Omnitrans SBX, which we'll get into a little bit more on the next slide as it connects to both of those destinations. Now, the most, um, uh, the destination with the most possible connections um, is the San Bernardino Transit Center. The San Bernardino Transit Center is an exciting new uh, place for Sunline to uh, make a stop uh, because this center features connections to many agencies ranging from uh, Riverside uh, Transit Agency to Omnitrans to Metrolink, even to Mountain Transit with routes up to Big Bear. Um, it is located at 559 West Rialto Ave in San Bernardino. Um, you can see a bit of the facility here. Um, the most exciting part is that when you get off at this stop, it is only a couple short steps away from the Metrolink station located at the San Bernardino Transit Center where you can transfer uh, to the San Bernardino line with access to Los Angeles. Metrolink also offers access to uh, Orange County and destinations throughout Southern California. So make sure to visit their website and see where you can get from the San Bernardino Transit Center. Um, also an important uh, connection that riders can make at uh, the San Bernardino Transit Center is to that SBX. Uh, the SBX is a BRT system that goes to the Loma Linda uh, VA facility. So we wanna make sure that our riders know about that as it is an important connection between the Inland Empire and the Coachella Valley. Now fares for the 10 commuter link are $6 for an adult uh, and youth on a one-way trip. Um, it is $4 for uh, seniors and disabled riders. And uh, those are also available in a monthly pass for $150 um, and $100 respectively. Um, we want to reiterate how important it is to note uh, that for CSUSB students, staff and faculty, it is free with a valid CSUSB ID, also known as a Coyote card. Uh, so make sure to carry that as you are on your travels. There are various transfer options with the 10 commuter link with Omnitrans, RTA, and Metrolink. Each one carries its own transfer policy. Uh, so I invite you to visit sunline.org forward slash fares for specific transfer questions about a uh, different route. Um, but I did want to make sure that all of our riders know that while there are transfer connections and transfer policies between Omnitrans and Metrolink, um, uh, Sunline bus passes are not accepted for free or discounted fares on buses operated by Riverside Transit Authority, Beaumont Transit, Banning Transit, Mountain Transit Authority, or Victor Valley Transit Authority BV link. Um, for any other questions, please leave them in the comments or uh, ask us or arrange a travel training, which we will touch on again right now, because if you're wondering, how can I pay my fare on my phone? Uh, mobile ticketing and contactless payment have become a huge trend in 2021. And we wanna make sure that riders know that they can access any Sunline fare on our token transit app. Um, here you can see an example on iOS and on Android um, of a token transit fare. If you're curious about how to become more comfortable using mobile payments, once again, visit Calendly dot com forward slash refueled. Um, you will see a uh, travel training for several options. 
um, but we can definitely help you uh, uh, understand token transit, how to download it, how to activate your ticket, and make sure that you're comfortable for your first ride. And it's very important to note that token transit features our single fare tickets, our, our single fares, and all of our monthly fares and passes for all of our fares, uh, whether it's a standard adult fare or a senior fare or anything in between. Now that was a summary and overview of the 10 commuter link. You can always visit sunline.org forward slash 10 commuter. Um, you can email us at marketing at sunline.org or call us at 760-343-3456. Please reach out, please schedule a travel training. And at this time, I would love to invite my colleague, Carmen, um, share that presentation in Spanish. Uh, thank you, Reed. Gracias, Reed. Um, como mencioné anteriormente, ahora voy a presentar en español lo que presentó mi compañero Reed y ambas presentaciones estarán en nuestra página de Facebook para que la pueda ver después de esta presentación. Um, next slide, please. Empecemos. El 10 enlace de cercanías está aquí. Queremos darle las gracias a nuestros pasajeros que se unieron a nosotros en nuestra inauguración de ayer. A la um, izquierda tenemos a nuestra primera viajera a las 5 y 20 de la mañana y a la derecha nuestro primer viajero a las 7 y 50 de la mañana. Uh, el personal de Sunline estaba muy emocionado de despedir a nuestros primeros dos autobuses que salieron de Indio y viajaron en dirección a Chile. Y ahora queremos asegurarnos de que todos estén listos para su primer viaje. Y eh, voy a explicar más en más detalle en la siguiente diapositivas. Next slide, please. En primer lugar, si ha oído hablar de nuestro 10 enlace de cercanías, es importante que sepa que este es un nuevo y emocionante servicio regional que está ampliando el acceso del Valle de Cochada a, para aquellos en el, todo el sur de California. Nuestras paradas incluyen a uh, Indio, Cal State San Bernardino Palm Desert Campus, Beaumont, Cal State University of San Bernardino, San Bernardino Campus y el Centro de, de Tránsito de San Bernardino. Este es un servicio que se ofrece de lunes a viernes y que contará con cuatro viajes de ida y vuelta diarios. Next slide, please. Como pudo ver anteriormente, este servicio de cinco paradas está destinado a brindar acceso regional desde el Valle de Cochala al resto del sur de California. Y aquí en el mapa puede ver um, las cinco paradas que mencioné anteriormente. Y aquí ve las conexiones con algunos de otros proveedores de servicios que están en el sur de California. Y hoy, um, más adelante, veremos las conexiones a las que puede llegar a través de cada parada. Next slide, please. Esta ruta ofrecerá más servicios de, que los anteriores servicios de transporte de pasajeros de Sunline. Hay dos viajes por la mañana y dos por la tarde. Con origen en el valle, dos viajes por la mañana saliendo de Indio. El primero a las 5 y 20 de la mañana y el otro a las 7 y 50 de la mañana. Llegando al centro de tránsito de San Bernardino a las 6, 7 y 35 de la mañana y el otro a las 10 y 5 de la mañana. El beneficio de un servicio adicional de enlace de cercanías significa dos viajes adicionales por la tarde. El primer viaje por la tarde sale de India a las 12 y 50 del mediodía y el segundo a las 2 y 50 de la tarde. Por primera vez, Sunline ofrece cuatro horarios de ruta que salen del Valle de Cochaba. Y para los viajes que ve abajo, que se originan en el oeste, empezando en el San Bernardino Transit Center, hay dos viajes por la mañana que salen del centro de tránsito de San Bernardino. El primero a las 11 de la mañana y el siguiente a las 2 de la tarde. El beneficio adicional del uh, 10 enlaces de cercanías significa un ser, uh, perdón, sí. <ríe> el primero sale a las 8 y 45 de la mañana y el otro a las 11 y 45 de la mañana y el primero llega a India a las 11 de la mañana y el siguiente a las 2 de la tarde. Um, next slide, please. 
Ahora que conocemos las horas y las ubicaciones de cada parada a lo largo de 10 en la sede cercanía, echemos un vistazo más profundo a cada parada. La primera parada que ve aquí es um, el este, en Indio, y se encuentra en el 83255, um, la autopista 111 en Indio. Y está en 111 y Golf Center Parkway. Y también está conocida como Sunline Indio Facility. Esta ubicación ofrece un parque y un paseo para quienes viajan diariamente. Además, ofrece conexiones a la red de ruta fija 1 de Sunline. Y en septiembre, el 7 de septiembre del 2021, la ruta 1X conectará a los pasajeros que necesiten un viaje rápido y eficiente de un lado al otro del Valle de Cochaba. Next slide, please. La segunda parada es a lo largo, um, es en el Cook Street, Cook Street y Berger Drive, también conocida como Cal State University San Bernardino Palm Desert Campus, está en el 37500 Cook Street Palm Desert, y tiene conexión um, con el servicio de, sun, de Sunrise, el servicio de, de viaje compartido. Como estamos en servicio de nivel 3, la ruta 5 no está disponible ahora mismo, uh, pero como he dicho, eh, sí tiene um, conexión con Sunrise y aquí hay oportunidades para acceder a nuestros servicios adicionales y les recomendamos que reserven una formación de viajes en calendly.com por slash refield si desea saber más sobre cómo utilizar nuestro servicio de Sunrise. Next slide, please. En la parada de autobús de Boma, los pasajeros podrán acceder a los autobuses que conectan con Cabazon, la Universidad de California Riverside, el Centro de Salud de la Universidad de Riverside, el Hospital de Kaiser, el Hospital de Veterano, el Centro Médico de Loma Linda y numerosos destinos atendidos por la Agencia de Tránsito de Riverside y la Agencia de Tránsito de Paz. La parada de autobús del 10 en las de cercanías en um, Oman también permite a los residentes del área de Paz, que son las zonas de San Jacinto, M y Moreno Valley, Valley a viajar a la Universidad Estatal de California en San Bernardino y la Universidad de California Riverside, el campus de Palm Desert, y otros centros de empleo en el Valle de Coachella. En esta parada puede conectarse a la Ruta 31 de la Agencia de Tránsito de Riverside y también puede hacer transbordo a Paz Transit con las rutas 1, 5 y 6. Next slide, please. Esto, esta parada es importante para los estudiantes que toman clases tanto en Cal State University San Bernardino Palm Desert Campus como en Cal State University San Bernardino San Bernardino Campus. El 10 enlace de cercanías es una forma conveniente de viajar hacia y desde tus clases. Además, Cualquier estudiante o docente con la tarjeta Coyote puede viajar gratis en el 10 enlace de cercanía. Esta parada también conecta con la línea verde SBX, que ve aquí, de la que hablaremos en nuestro próximo destino. Y aquí tiene, hay conexión a Omnitrans X, SBX, uh, la ruta verde, que um, sale cada 10 minutos durante las horas puntas a San Bernardino y el Centro Universitario Médico de Loma Linda. También hay numerosas conexiones de rutas locales de Omnitrans que puede ver en, su, en la página web de Omnitrans. Next slide, please. Nuestra última parada es el, el Centro de Tránsito de San Bernardino. Eh, las conexiones son el propósito principal de nuestro destino final eh, del 10 enlace de cercanías. El Centro de Tránsito de San Bernardino incluye conexiones directas y frecuentes a más de seis agencias de tránsito diferentes. Estas incluyen conexiones frecuentes en nuestro destino final y el centro de Riverside, a través de la ruta 215 de Omnitrans con autobuses que ofrecen servicio entre semana. Cada 30 minutos durante las horas punta y autobuses que salen cada 60, 60 minutos durante las horas no puntas. Y aquí hay conexión a la línea verde SPX que recorre una ruta de 15 
3.7 millas a lo largo del corredor de la calle E, e desde Cal State University San Bernardino en el norte hasta el Centro Médico de Loma Linda en el sur. Esta ruta express cuenta con carriles exclusivos para autobuses, wifi a bordo, enchufes y también puede llevar bicicletas a bordo. Además de las numerosas rutas locales de Omnitrend, también puede conectarse a la estación Metrolink que brinda servicio regional a Los Ángeles, el condado de Orange y más. Next slide, please. Como puede ver aquí en la pantalla, Sunline ofrece tarifas diarias de 6 dólares por adulto o por jóvenes, para jóvenes, uh, o de 4 dólares para personas mayores y de, discapacitadas. Uh, también hay pases uh, mensuales de 150 dólares para los adultos o los jóvenes y de 100 dólares para las personas mayores o discapacitadas. Um, para más información sobre el otro bordo, puede visitar sunline.org por slash fares y también hay trasbordo disponible con Omnitrans, la agencia de tránsito de Riverside y Metrolink. Hay políticas diferentes um, de la transferencia con Omnitrans y Metrolink um, y los autobuses de Sunline, sin embargo, no aceptan transferencias gratuitas con descuento en autobuses operados por Riverside Transit Agency, Bowman Transit, Banning Transit, Mount Transit Authority, o Victor Valley Transfer, uh, Transit Authority. Y también se me ha olvidado mencionar que si eres un estudiante de Cal State University San Bernardino o si trabaja uh, como profesor o, um, o trabaja simplemente en Cal State University San Bernardino, uh, puede uh, tomar el 10 enlace de cercanía gratis con, una, con el Priority Card en mostrando su Priority Card. Next slide, please. ¿Cómo puedo pagar mi tarifa usando mi teléfono móvil? Como dice aquí, es fácil. Es utilizando la aplicación de Token Transit. Aquí en la pantalla puede ver um, el, la aplicación de Token Transit en un, un iPhone y en un móvil con Android. Uh, si tiene curiosidad y tiene preguntas sobre cómo puede viajar fácilmente con su dispositivo móvil, por favor, reserve una formación en viajes en calendly.com forward slash refueled. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Hi, Carmen, I got a little disconnected there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I believe we're still sharing there. Uh, let me, I believe that was your last slide. Yeah. Um, and you were just inviting people <laughs> to share uh, how they can reach us. Um, let me share that slide for you really quick. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, gracias por acompañarnos en el Trends de Chiste de hoy. Y si quiere contactar con nosotros, por favor, visita nuestra página web, sunline.org por slash 10 commuter o mándanos, mándanos un correo por directo por email a marketing at sunline.org o puede llamarnos por teléfono al 760-343-3456. Gracias. All right, Carmen, thank you so much. And I'm sorry to leave you hanging there um, on, the, no on the web for a minute. I do want to let you know that you got uh, a couple of comments from Isaac and Manny saying how um how well done your performance was uh and how uh spot on your presentation skills are so we always appreciate that positive feedback here at some online transit agency and thank you so much for joining today's transit tuesday um as we said throughout the presentation if you have any questions about the 10 commuter link and how you can utilize the service for regional connections in southern california please leave a comment on our social media or in the chat and if you have more specific questions about how you can use our services to make your commute easier uh, please visit calendly.com forward slash refueled and set up your travel training today 
Have a wonderful day. And thank you for joining us. See you next week's Transit Tuesday. Thank you.